its function is to sedate men. Yeah. And no one in no other generation has have men been more sedated than they are right now. Within the millennial generation, you know, you've probably heard about the topic of porn. We brought it up once on this pod once on this podcast. But it does make me curious because that became super popular within my generation. And I have seen how that has mentally and also like physically affected dudes in terms of like, if you're spending so much time here, you're not going out and working on certain things that you could be, motivations down, et cetera. So from all the men that you've talked to, what has what what have you seen from in the way that porn has affected millennial men or men in general? Because I find that millennial men and gen Z is that the generation before us? Uh, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, millennial yeah. and then Gen Z. Gen, millennial and then Gen Z. Those, <laughs> in terms of the effect that I've seen on those men, it has been extremely effective on them because they've gotten on it from a very young age. Like I got at it from a very young age. So, what have you seen there in terms of men and potentially just like? Okay. So, I'll, I'll tell you what I told Elijah Schaefer on because he asked me pretty much the same question. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, um, what can men do? I, I usually this question comes in tandem with what can men do to be better men? Mm. Um, my first, my first uh, advice, let's just say, if I'm going to suggest anything, if I'm going to give you a prescription is to stop sedating yourself. And that's what most guys, particularly in those generations you just mentioned, all of them sedate themselves uh, by vol- voluntarily or just by necessity, they sedate themselves. Pornography is sedation. It is meant to keep you on the bed jerking off. That's all it's meant to do. I mean, let's, I, I, I'm, I'm raw when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's like, you know, if that's what you're about, and I'm not necessarily against porn per se, but I do understand that its function is to sedate men. Yeah. And no one in no other generation has have men been more sedated than they are right now. Hey, I know you're enjoying this episode, but listen up. We partner with Merrick Health. They're a telehealth network owned by Derek for more plates, more dates. But literally, the amazing thing about Merrick Health and getting your labs done with them is that when you get your labs done, you work with a client care coordinator that goes over your labs and gives you specific supplementation or nutrition protocols or potentially hormonal protocols for your levels. The problem with a lot of these other telehealth networks is that when they do these things, they give everybody the same exact things, which actually can hurt you long-term more than help you. Andrew, how can they get it? Yes, that's over at MerrickHealth.com. That's M-A-R-E-K Health.com. And if you already know what labs you want to get at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT10 to save 10% off all of those labs. If you don't know where to start, head over to MerrickHealth.com slash POWERPROJECT. And you guys will get directed straight to the Power Project panel that has 26 different labs that will cover everything you need. And at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save $101 off of that panel. Again, MerrickHealth.com, links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes. So you can, from that point, you can sort of get into other things like, well, you know, today's uh, pornography is free, 4K streaming. You can get, I could get it right here, right now if I want to, right? And a 10-year-old boy can get hardcore, you know, double penetration pornography whenever that kid wants. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I was in, I'm Generation X, so getting a hold of a hustler magazine was like pirate fucking gold when I was when I was like 13, 14 years old and you kept your stash and it was like no, this is this is issue number you know four from the house. And, I mean you were like it was like it was like uh, slaves bar, like okay, I have a little bit of the, you know, that kind of stuff when I was and and you know, and then progressively you get to like Spice Channel and Playboy Channel and like on, online and, you know, renting a VHS or something. And the the barrier to uh, to getting hardcore porn was way different for my generation than it was for certainly the millennials. I can tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. Um, but now it's free. And there's a reason that it's free because it is meant to sedate you. It is meant to keep you from doing exactly what you were saying, which is get up and motivate and do something for yourself. And that's honestly, I think that's one of the reasons why like no fap is such a big, I don't, I don't necessarily subscribe to the sort of woo woo magical spirituality of no fap, but I do understand. And I've written articles about this. I think you'll find this in my first book, as a matter of fact, um, that when you're not, you know, jerking off you, there are certain like, behavioral manifestations or attitudes that you will have as a result of, of not doing that. And women pick up on those, those kind of like uh, sub, subtle cues of a guy who is used to getting laid rather than used to jerking off. So there's, there's, there's a lot of like kind of subtle um, behavioral things that women pick up on. 
that being said, uh, sedation is a big deal, I think, for, for men of this generation in particular, and not just young men, too, I should say. When you look at the rise in uh, prescription opioid addictions, when you look mm. at the rise in alcoholism, when you look at the rise in, um, I'm trying to think of other sedations, like anything that pretty much keeps you from doing, something, like alcoholism is a really good one. Um, but it, anything that sort of keeps you away from actually building something or having the creative drive to sort of deal with your discontent as a guy. Mm -hmm. So when I come down on porn as a sedation, I'm also coming down on other things too. Um, you guys probably like there's guys what, when we talk about guys who are like sort of unambitious or this lost boys generation right now, we tend to think of them as sort of like at home, living in mom's basement, you know, shit posting on Twitter, mm -hmm. um, jerking off the porn, ordering Uber Eats, smoking weed, by the way, which was one of the worst things that, that these states could have done is legalize marijuana right now. Not because I'm anti-weed, it's mm -hmm. that it's a sedation and it's all it's going to do is demotivate that many more people as a result of that. Mm -hmm. So if you're asleep because you're jerking off, you're drunk, you're on Oxycontin and you're playing World of Warcraft, Right. Or you're on whatever your your escape happens to be. You will never get out of that escape if your shitty life is worse than the escape that you happen to live in and you prefer to be in. So what I think most men need to do is they need to if you want. Here's your positive advice. Right. If you want to get out of the, the shithole that you're in, look at what is sedating you first and then take care of that first get to the gym. Most what you guys probably understand these stats, right? Was it, is it 75% of the U S population is overweight? Right overweight. Now. Yeah. I correct in that. Yes. Is that right? 75. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cause I need to know. <laughs> I know it was 70 at least. I think it's around 30 then, or 35% is obese. Yeah. 35% of men are obese and 40% of women are obese right oh. now. So what is it? Why, why, why? Because that seems like it's easier to do. And it's, it's a sedation. Food can be a sedation just as much as anything else. Yes, it can. What people, what, well, men, and since we're talking about men, what men tend to do is they live in their escape because their escape life is better than their shitty real life. And so what you need to do is get it to get to the point where your real life is better than, and that is, is a more enticing thing to live than living in world of Warcraft. And I'm, I'm not picking on just one game here, by the way, but you know, playing video games, that's, that's one of the things that we want to talk about when we say, well, men are dropping out. They're not getting degrees. They're not, you know, measuring up to women's standards. They're not marriageable. They're not economically attractive, that kind of stuff. What, so what do we say? They're not taking responsibility. They're, um, their uh, their their home, living in mom's basement, you know, eating pizza, smoking weed, playing Call of Duty, and they're just you know happy as pigs and shit because they don't have to do anything. Psh, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video, so like, comment, subscribe. All right, see you later.